If you're often at gigs or clubs, you might be concerned about potential hearing loss, and perhaps rightly so, because the World Health Organization estimates that up to 1 billion young people are at risk due to excessive loud volumes in gigs and clubs. Hey, Nish here, and today we're taking a look at these Alpine Party Plug earplugs, which are some earplugs I've personally used for quite a while, so this is a bit of a biased review, but I'm going to be trying to explain why I found these to be a good choice. Now, these earplugs are reusable and made of latex as opposed to your typical foam. The unique selling point is they're designed not to affect the quality quality of the sound you're attenuating so that you can still enjoy the music you've paid for at a gig or a club. The difference between these and your typical latex earplugs are that these have a plastic filter put in, and I believe that that allows more of the higher frequencies to come in. The problem with foam earplugs is that they really mess up the sound They, in terms of the frequency spectrum because they block out all of the high end and you're left with a very dulled sound and that's not particularly enjoyable to listen to. With these, however, the result is a pretty much pure attenuation of the sound. You're reducing the volume without losing all of the fidelity. You do lose a little bit, unfortunately. Though it is worth noting, if you're looking purely just to reduce the sound, for example, to sleep, foam earplugs can actually be a better choice because they're better at reducing the sound. They can reach about 30 decibels of attenuation, whereas these party plugs are rated at only 18 decibels of attenuation. There isn't a huge amount to comment on the design. They're pretty small. There's two sort of flanges and you put them into your ear just by gently inserting. You can lift up your ear to enable it um, to enter easily. They come in a few colors, gray, white, and black, and I think generally they're quite discreet. I think they're not drawing too much attention to it, because I guess there may be a bit of a stigma still about people trying to protect their ears. And yeah, I mean, I've never had trouble, too much trouble with them, but because they are quite small, you have to take care in um, grabbing them out and not making sure you lodge them too far in. Comfort-wise, I've always found them to be decent. At the end of the day, you are putting something in your ear, and it's never going to feel like there's not something in your ear, if that makes any sense. But, you know, I've, I've worn these for many, many hours and not had too many problems. I I think perhaps if I was wearing them every day for a really long time, I think they might start getting a bit irritating and annoying. If you're looking to use something for a long, long time, many days in a row, perhaps you could look into making custom earplugs that would fit your ear perfectly rather than having something that needs to adapt with a little bit of tension. One addition I did like is they included this little carrying case in the box and you can loop that onto a key ring. So I put this on my keys and that means, you know, if I find myself in a spontaneous loud environment, then I'm not left without hearing protection. And that is about everything. So for me, I think the, you know, the price tag of these is relatively higher. It's about 12 pounds, 12 euros. But given the fact they are reusable, you can clean them using soap and water very easily. I think they can last a long time. And I think it's worth paying that price, in, a, in, in my opinion, to be able to enjoy the music more when you go to places. Thanks very much for watching. There are links to Amazon in the description if you want to support the channel, if you want to buy these or any other item on Amazon, actually. Subscribe for more To The Point content, and I'll catch you in the next one.